brain aneurysms are a very serious uh, blood vessel condition. Uh, the reason is that when they rupture, there is a high risk of complications. About 15% of patients with uh, brain hemorrhage due to a ruptured aneurysm do not survive to reach the hospital. And of all the others who manage to be uh, sent to a hospital, about 40% to 50% may not survive over the next few months. The reason is that blood that has come out into the subparanoid space, or what we call subparanoid hemorrhage, is a very serious condition. It causes a lot of uh, effects on the underlying brain. And as a result, the patient can have uh, quite serious uh, uh, complications. The patient with a ruptured uh, brain aneurysm usually have a few of the usual symptoms associated with it. Uh, one of the symptoms is that of a headache. And very often, the patients come in and will tell us that they have experienced the worst headache in their lives. Sometimes it can be very uh, serious to such an extent that the patient loses consciousness and become comatose. In some other instances, the patient can have uh, a neck stiffness uh, and pain, and in uh, uh, certain instances, they have, may have blurring of vision, and sometimes even drooping of one eyelid. We put in a, a, a very small tube, or what we call a microcatheter, into the groin of a patient. From there, we will move the microcatheter deep inside the blood vessel system of the patient and move it all the way into the brain. And from there, we can uh, administer uh, uh, either medications or we can actually put in materials like coils or balloons to treat the blood vessel disease at that point. In NNI, we believe in a multidisciplinary approach to the treatment of brain aneurysms. Uh, the neurologists, the neurosurgeons, and the neuroradiologists are the brain specialists who are very much involved in the management of these patients. We will also require the services of trained nurses, uh, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, and speech therapists in the management of these patients. Uh, I'm a neurodologist and I will do the interventional neurodology uh, treatment for these patients. Stroke basically uh, can be divided into uh, two main types. One is an ischemic type that makes up the majority uh, in about uh, 80 to 85 percent. Uh, the other smaller subgroup is that of a hemorrhagic stroke. Stroke disease is mainly due to a vascular uh, disease of the vessel wall and it results from the, uh, the accumulation of plaques what we know as uh, atherosclerotic plaques. Now these plaques, they are made up of uh, cholesterol, as we commonly know, uh, calcium, and, some, and over time, uh, fibrous tissue. The effect of uh, atherosclerotic plaque is that it uh, narrows the diameter or the lumen of a vessel, resulting in a poor blood supply. As you can Im imagine, when there is the reduced blood, suppl blood supply to the brain, the brain is slowly deprived of uh, oxygenation and over time, if the stenosis or the narrowing is severe enough, the brain tissue will suffer and die eventually, which is what we know as a stroke. What are some of the symptoms of stroke? Stroke presents uh, most of the time acutely, they can cause uh, weakness in the arm or the leg uh, on the same side, uh, usually presenting on one side of the body. They can also present with weakness in the muscle of the face. Patients can also experience difficulty in speaking. They can have coordination problems and some experience dizziness of acute onset. Some even go as far as losing consciousness. And in the case of a hemorrhagic stroke, 
patient can present with severe headache. There are some warning signs for a stroke we call as a transient ischemic attack. Now, the symptom onset is similar to a stroke. The only difference is that the symptoms usually uh, completely goes away within 24 hours. What is important about patients experiencing transient ischemic attack or TIA is that it is a warning sign that an impending stroke will happen in the future. In our institute, we have uh, the facility to provide acute stroke rescue uh, operations whereby uh, clots that form within the blood vessels can be retrieved uh, within an eight hour window period. It is a device that works rather like a corkscrew. Uh, we pass the wire basically all the way up to where the clot is. Uh, we catch the clot and from there, we pull it all the way down uh, endovascularly. Stroke prevention strategies is a multidisciplinary approach. We work very closely with the neurologists in our institute. Patients will first undergo medical therapy. And if there is a need, we may perform procedures like carotid angioplasty and stenting. It is a procedure in which a neurointerventionalist inserts a slender metal mesh tube called a stand, which expands inside your carotid artery to increase the blood flow in areas blocked by a plaque. 